Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. I know it looks exactly like Vlogmas Day 2 because honestly, work is like a routine and that's that. Um, I did get something a little bit different. I think this is a bigger size too. I got a flat white. I've never tried a flat white before, so I just heard it's more caffeinated, so that's why I got it. It's very bitter. I kind of like it. It's about 628 right now. Um, or at least that's 630. Yeah. Sitting in the parking lot. Um, should really be getting ready to go. Um, <clears throat> since I always get super exhausted with my shift, night before I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you how my shift went yesterday um, so yesterday it wasn't too too bad um, we did have a steady flow for the most part um, we had the normal things um, a lot of the similar things that come into the ER are like chest pain abdominal pain shortness of breath those are like the basic things that um, like walking through the ER most of the time, if they're young and they have abdominal pain or vomiting or anything like that, we just run some labs on them. So, for example, most people in the ER will get a chest x-ray. That's pretty standard. Um, if their abdomen is, I don't know, some doctors will order the ultrasound. Um, if they feel like it's a concern. Um, most people will get their blood drawn and we'll draw like a full workup. So maybe I'll insert a picture of the tubes here. So there's like a red tube, green tube. We usually draw two green tubes because we do bedside um, blood um, test as well. And then I know green is BMP, red is like something, but it's supposed to be waste. And then um, blue, is uh, PT and INR, which is bleeding. Um, lavender. I always forget what lavender is. I don't remember. But I know there we have a pink one, and we don't usually draw pink. That's the one that's type and cross. So that's if they're actively bleeding. So if we um, think they have, might have a GI bleed or they have some massive bleed somewhere. So a lot of times, like for example, some people come in for motor vehicle accidents. Like we have a lot of those. Um, what will happen is um, when they come in via ambulance, we'll go ahead and draw all those and we'll usually draw a pink top, which is not what we'll usually draw for like abdominal pain. Um, well, I'm still like a little bit sick. Alex keeps calling me, that's why I'm gonna try and use my thing. Anyway, long story short, um, basically I, um, we draw blood on them, we do the scans on them and then we usually take them to procedures. Doctor decides they want to discharge them, and that's the end of that. And even though it sounds like a really, really short amount of time, it's not. Labs can take up to an hour to an hour and a half, and scans can take up. Okay, so I guess we're not going to be using the camera because your destination is on the right. I'm definitely I'm starting to feel the effects of working two days in a row. I don't even know how I'm going to make it to three days in a row. Um, I definitely do want to sleep earlier today. Um, I'm going to try to edit like as soon as possible so that I can go to sleep around 9 today because I tried to sleep around 10.30 yesterday. I didn't even sleep until 11 because I was having like a cough attack. 
I don't know I think maybe my room is just really dusty or something because I always like cough like crazy right before I go to sleep and it keeps me from like getting proper amount of sleep like I only got like six hours of sleep which sounds like a lot but it's definitely not enough um but yeah so pretty much I'm gonna try to go to sleep early today I'm gonna listen to my Christmas music say a prayer right before I go in because I always pray now before because God has been good and like given me decent shifts and I'm with a new preceptor today again it's really weird having different preceptors. I kind of knew my preceptor from before because she taught our like computer class, but this preceptor I've only met her like once um, on the floor. So I don't even know. I don't even know, but like for the most part we're on our own now. So I don't really think it's like that big of a deal, like who your preceptor is as long as they're like um, willing to help you whenever you. <clears throat> Hello. I'm on break. Like, you get a different vibe depending on whoever your preceptor is. Um, and then also, usually, with my other preceptor, I usually have, like, a student with me. So, it's kind of nice because um, it's almost like having, um, like, an extra hand so they can help you with things that, like, the techs can do, which is nice. Um, it's going okay so far. I, I'm i just tired. I really, really want to go home. That's fine. Whatever. It'll be fine. We're almost done. We go till 7.30. Oh, God. I am so done. I, like... Oh, God. I have, like, five more minutes left on my break. So, we have a 30-minute break for lunch. And I'm just sitting in my car because I am so tired. I literally don't want to do anything right now. I'm literally eating Sky Flakes. So tired. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go eat now. I'm finally off my shift. I took a shower. I need to take a shower this time because I feel nasty. Let me take this so I can use this as my undershirt tomorrow. So we're looking for Elenium tickets. Look at all my Christmas stuff. We're looking for Elenium tickets for this Friday, but I don't know if we we'll get it for cheap. Got huh? Okay. Fries. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna try and talk and eat. I don't know how angle or how good this angle is. I love it now. Oof. Had my first cold food today. Um. What happened? Like. When I was on break, but I heard my room get called and I was like, is it for real, Cubby? And it was, but the lady came in already in cardiac arrest. I'll leave it at that, but I was basically the documenter because it was my room. Um, there's just a lot of documentation that goes on when you have to do a code, which basically makes you one-to-one. -one. So someone takes over your beds. So I had like three other patients, so someone took those over from me. Which is nice. Um, dude, I'm so hungry. Right now me and Alex are trying to look on the internet. I talked about it a little bit. We're trying to look for Elenium tickets. So hit me up if you have Elenium tickets in SD. For Pachanga on the 6th. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we go or not. I'm not like entirely sure. Like our budget for the trip is so Lenin is me and Alex's favorite EDM artist. Basically, basically the reason why we kind of like got into the EDM scene. We saw that at our first escape in 2017. From there on, we started going to shows. And we've seen him before at the Forum. He does have an LA show in, in the Staples Center, but I really like, don't want to go. I don't know. It's closer, but I'm like not down for it. 
just because they're gonna be like nosebleed seats versus pachangas, just all floor seats. I'm down to pay um, more than like $90 for each ticket. I'm gonna go, but honestly, not the biggest deal, you know. Tomorrow's my last day of the week, so that's why I'm off from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I feel like on day shift, you like end with so much adrenaline because you have so much going on. But at the end of your shift, for some nights, if you're like tapering down <coughs> and you're like exhausted um, in the beginning, and then at the end, you're kind of like chilling for the most part, at least. 